All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about uh, real music and the eradication of information in the music world. And yes, doing it in real time for a few real people out there just like you and just like me. All right, um, so this article caught my attention on a website called Saving Country Music. CMT and MTV's eradication of editorial content is a catastrophe. Now, this is an example of memory-holding information, but not in the traditional way. This is just like bleach bed. It's done. It's gone. So here's the story. Decades of articles, news stories, reviews, interviews, and think pieces have been eliminated from the CMT website as well as the website of its sister music publication, MTV. Huh. So the remnants of MTV, uh, those are now gone. It's not just that the company has laid off all of its journalists and editors. It's that the work of scores of writers over many years, tens of thousands of articles in total, are now gone. And at this point, they are unlikely to be reconstituted among budget cuts at CMT's parent company, Paramount. Yeah, you heard that right. So Paramount owns CMT. Uh, obviously, they owned MTV, and they own a bunch of other things. Sure, it says some of CMT's written content over the years uh, has been puff pieces on pop country stars that is either expendable or redundant to other articles on a dozen or so other country music or entertainment websites, but this archive also included very important journalism and commentary that cannot be replaced. While CMT was one of the largest and most prolific media outlets in country music since its inception in, get this, 1983. So <clears throat> CMT started a little after MTV. Uh, for example, and this is pretty interesting, award-winning journalist Chet Flippo, who, among other achievements, wrote the liner notes to the album Wanted the Outlaws, which is a very big album in the country music world, and he was also the country reporter for Rolling Stone in the 1970s. He operated a weekly column called Nashville Skyline. All of those columns are now gone. Chet Flippo passed away in 2013, and unless someone has them saved somewhere, uh, they'll never see the light of day again. That's really sad. So I talk a lot about you know buying physical things, buying physical CDs. People say, you know, Dave, I got a playlist. Now, they just eliminated all of this information, which is crazy. Um, and maybe you weren't a country music fan, uh, like he says here, maybe you didn't follow the pop country music scene, but they eliminated all kinds of things within the purview of that website. Um, here's an example. For a while, CMT operated a subdomain called CMT Edge that covered a lot of independent country and Americana music before it was eliminated in the many rounds of budget cuts at the outlet over the years. Paramount shuttered MTV News in 2013, which was probably a good idea, uh, but they did it because of budget cuts. And CMT's editorial content has been spotty at best over the last few years, but eliminating all the articles in the past seems especially punitive and short-sighted. Agreed. See, this is the new world. Uh, you'll own nothing and be happy. Say... In a few years, you know, the stuff I listen to on Spotify, nobody's listening to it. And that's the only place like they put out, you know, a few hundred CDs and I've got one of them. Right. But most people don't. And this music just disappears because they say, you know what? Um, we need the space. You know, we need the extra cyberspace, which is kind of silly. But there are these huge warehouses I guess they're in Nevada or Utah or somewhere where all of this data is essentially stored, right? And it's a growing uh, warehouse. Like it's constantly being uh, enlarged 
So the capacity can include all of this new material. I mean, all of the stuff that's being uploaded daily, it's insane. And say somebody comes along and says, you know what? I'm buying this company out that owns this and runs it all. And I'm going to eliminate this portion of the warehouse. Uh, we're just going to keep all of the cool pop music that the kids are listening to today. We don't need any of this old fogey music. Most of those people probably have the CD or the cassette or whatever, you know, cassettes. That's funny, right? Um, but seriously, this could happen. And so all of these links are gone. Anything that was critical, anything that was interesting uh, from 30, 40 years ago, gone. Not just memory hold, but just destroyed, gone. Um they go on here to say, along with being a useful resource to the public, the industry, and other journalists, article archives are often a strong source of revenue for many outlets. <laughs> yeah. Say a, a bunch of my videos just disappeared from like seven years ago. Would that be cool? It could happen. Even if the revenue is marginal, especially after Google tweaked its search parameters, to emphasize newer articles as opposed to older ones, the ad revenue generated from these articles could easily cover the cost to host them on a server. Um, the eradication of the CMT archive also calls into question the viability of CMT moving forward. Uh, they've already moved their annual awards show to CBS since so few young people now have access to the actual cable channel due to cord cutting. Yes, everybody is watching via Roku or their smartphone or whatever. Nobody is watching cable television. The outlet still hosts occasional Crossroads episodes and other original programming, but mostly relies on reruns while most consumers watch music videos on YouTube. Media continues to be in crisis as it tries to navigate the onslaught of AI, which, among other concerns, is cataloging the archives of sites like CMT and um, not exposing to some of the content that was put out early on, no human input and no oversight. In other words, AI is essentially telling people what they should watch. That's what this is. It's unlikely this concern is why the CMT archive was eliminated, but it speaks to the complex issues facing media outlets today. So again, AI comes along, says, you know what, that real music observer guy, he's really annoying. Uh, he doesn't always talk about music. He's talking about other things. We're just not going to recommend his stuff. I mean, you've already got the algorithm. And so now you could have more intense AI. And then you have people who work for these companies saying, you know what? He's got all these videos out there. He's flooded the marketplace with videos. We don't want him doing that. By the way, folks, um, I forgot to mention in the first video today, we did go over 80,000. So that is pretty historic. This channel has hit 80,000 subscribers. Um, obviously, I couldn't have done it without all of you. So thank you for subscribing and for supporting the channel. What's weird is my revenue at 80,000 subscribers is lower than it was when I had 10,000 subscribers. So just putting that out there. Anyway, um, this wraps up. One of the risks of operating internet outlets is if the content disappears, there is no physical archive to call upon in the future. Many journalists sunk their lives into CMT stories. Many artists benefited from the content. Many fans learned about their favorite artists from the site, and many people used CMT's archive as a resource to understand what happened in country music's past. Now, all of that is gone. Uh, if that doesn't scare people, uh, I don't know. Maybe, I guess people are satisfied with um, just the new normal, which is just the content that they think you should see. So that's this is another example of uh, a big media company, Paramount, saying, eh, people won't miss this stuff. And if they do, who cares? You know, um, that's old stuff. And we continuously just move on to new stuff. That's the way society has always been. 
but people like me and a few people out there might want to go back and revisit the old stuff because the new stuff really sucks, right? Uh, the new country music compared to the outlaw country music. He, he mentioned an article that was written about outlaw country, which is uh, <laughs> it's just a different genre altogether. And it showed that country had some backbone. Now it's like skinny jeans and smoke machines and all that stuff. Whereas uh, in the old days, it was rugged guys and not just talking about their trucks, but actually like fixing their truck, you know? <laughs> it's uh, Things have changed so much. But the scary part of this is that they could just randomly eliminate all of this online stuff. And then what are you left with? And I'm not saying it's going to happen, but here it is happening. They just did it. They just got rid of this entire archive. And by the way, if you linked to one of these articles and you wrote something, like you were reviewing an album and you had a link to one of these articles, now that's a dead link. It doesn't work. Click on it. goes nowhere. Sorry. Uh, this doesn't exist anymore. Thanks for trying. Uh, find a newer link, you know, and rewrite your article. Or now you've got to uh, just delete your article because it doesn't make sense anymore because you were kind of piggybacking off of what uh, they had done over at CMT. So this is very scary to me. This is uh, the beginning of a purge that will eventually happen where uh, people who are running these companies are going to say, you know, we don't need this stuff. I'm just making the decision just to get rid of it. It's kind of like you're cleaning out the closet, right? And your wife isn't there and you start throwing things away and um, she's not there to tell you it's okay. <laughs> You'll get into just a ton of trouble doing that. Like, honey, I'm sorry. I didn't know you needed that. Well, of course I needed that. And you're just thinking to yourself, wow, um, I probably should have waited or just don't throw it out, you know, become a pack rat. And you would think with all of this technology, right? All of this cyberspace that we have enough room to keep all of these archives, but nope, this goes to a larger issue. And that is they just don't want you to see the old stuff. Because then you're going to compare this new culture to the old culture, and you're going to realize, oh, that old culture, it had soul, it had depth. This new culture is just bubble gum and lollipops and paper mache and cotton candy, you know? And back in those days, it was the real deal. It was analog, whereas everything today is digital, and it's uh, getting even worse than just being digital. It's AI. So... Anyway, I was shaking this around. This is Atlantic and their album, Another World. This is not country music. This is melodic AOR. Go check it out. Uh, I have the physical CD. <laughs> you might want to buy some CDs. I'm just saying, you might want to go to a few yard sales or um, a few Goodwills and just stock up, man. Just have a basement filled with this stuff. You got nothing to lose. And if the whole thing crashes, you're going to be a multimillionaire, right? You're going to have all this stuff that nobody else has. And if you want to sell one of them, you know, you'll have to charge like a thousand dollars a CD or something. Yeah. You want this Rolling Stones album? Gonna cost you. Um, you know, of course then CD players will probably be uh, eliminated, but most computers still will play a CD, right? I think mine does. I don't know. Um, maybe they'll get rid of that too. This is the, the problem with the future. The future is going to be dictated to us by a big corporation and not by regular people like uh, you and like me. So thanks for watching. Uh, hold on to your stuff. Uh, it might be valuable someday. And even if it isn't, um, you're still cool. I mean, I've got a whole bunch of books and CDs here. I know everybody reads everything and listens to everything. Uh, online and they stream this and they just, you know, they've got the the nook or whatever. And uh, I like books. I like books I can pick up and open and read and put a little bookmark in there. And that's the way I roll, man. I know it's old school, but you know what? It's a school, right? It's still a school. Until they get rid of the school, you know, I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing. God bless everyone out there. Thanks for watching. 80K. We made it to 80K. Holy crap, Batman. Hopefully they won't eliminate my videos because uh, that would be a big problem if that starts happening.